Well, everyone, here's another review. Gosh, I'm really putting out a lot lately. Our subject this time is the 1992 Terrence the Tractor. Here he is with my custom unpainted and rehabilitated 1992 Thomas. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, the 1992 version, you know, being the 1992 ver version and not Thomas, Annie, or Clarabelle. Well, you know, no year's version of Thomas is uncommon because, well, Thomas. People will tend to buy him, guaranteed, because he's the show's title character. <clears throat> anyway, I found Terrence when I was in his 1992 form. I found him when I was looking on eBay for a good deal on a Terrence. And I discovered I was able to get him for seven dollars shipped. Which A was the best price out of all the listings for Terrence I was finding and also, 1992 release! Mm -hmm. As you can see, those are not his original treads. They're ones I fabricated from rubber bands. And it's trimmed and shortened to fit. They serve a bit bumpy. Mm. Now, something I want to point out right now is Terence's face. This is what I feel is the real failing of the model. I don't mind the black wheels because I think most of the wheels behind the mechanism and of such mechanisms in general would be black. I actually kind of like them. However, here we have a face with eyebrows. Terrence and Terrence does not really have eyebrows in the show originally. And what he does have is a prominent widow's peak. You know, this caused him to be nicknamed Drac the Track by the original modeling crew and can be seen on this wind up brush bottom version. But apart from that, though he's a great model, although they're well, no worse than any other parents. And it's, of course, no better than any other Terrence. What do I mean by that? I'll show you. Oh, this could technically be a range flaw, but, you know. His magnet on his back is a normal back magnet. Meaning it's meant to couple to the front magnets of engines and rolling stock. However, the thing Terrence is perhaps, oh damn it, it slipped, most famous for doing is pulling Thomas from behind out of the snowdrift. Which this model's magnet coupling cannot do, 
nor can any Terrence Models Magnet Cup can do in this range. So, oh, because they're all standard back magnets when he really technically should have a front magnet there, or maybe a rare bi-directional one like Butch has. Still, he's a great little model. Mm -hmm. Well, with the classic less is more type of detailing, he's got a seat, which by the way is about, you can perch a Lego figure there if you want, which is kind of fun. You know, he's got an engine detailing mirrored on the other side. I'd like many caterpillar or tractors. There's while there are grates that cover those, most of the ones you see and thus most models of them have those grates removed. Overall, well, he's a good model, and I highly recommend him, though I would recommend getting some black paint Ain't to give him his widow's peak. Thank you for watching.